In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the coolant temperature sensor on this BMW 550i. This is going to be located on the front part of the engine. Let's get into it. We're going to remove this cover, use a 10 millimeter socket. There's four nuts on top. Take those out. Grab the cover, slide it up, out of the way. Loosen up this worm clamp. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. That's good. Using a straight blade screwdriver, loosen up the worm clamp here on the throttle body. Oops. Then just grab the snorkel, slide it off, and it comes right out. Disconnect the connector right here. Just push on the little lock, slide that up. Now you can drain the coolant system if you want to, or just make sure the vehicle is cold and do this real quick so you don't lose a lot of coolant. Take a 22 millimeter socket, loosen the coolant temp sensor, and you want a drain bucket underneath because you'll have some coolant drip out. Pull that out. Then real quick, take the new sensor, make sure there's a good seal. Put it back in before you lose too much coolant. Snug this down. And we'll torque this to 10 foot-pounds. That's good. Connect the connector. Take the snorkel, get this lined up. Slide it over the air box and over the throttle body. Tighten down the worm clamps. And just snug it up. Same on this one. That's good. Now you want to fill the coolant system with the appropriate coolant until you get to this max line. There's a level in here. So fill that up to max. When that's at max, we're gonna start the engine with the cap off. Let the engine run for about one minute. You may notice that the coolant goes down. After a minute, you wanna to top it off so that that's back at the max line. While the engine's still running, put the cap on. Then you want to run the engine until it gets to operating temperature, making sure the engine doesn't overheat. After that, we're going to shut the vehicle down, let it cool completely, make sure it's nice and cold because you don't want any pressure in here. And then you're going to double check the level. Take the cap off, make sure there's no pressure. And then you're gonna adjust the level again so that it is at max level. You can see the little keyway on the side. So that should float like that to max. And then you're good to go. Now that you're all back together, you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.